a big truck, man. Sure you got this? Little guy in a big truck. Little guy in a big truck. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Every car that you see here, coating, 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 coating. Jeep over there is getting a coating. GT3 over here is just finished up. We did paint protection film on it. Uh, we just gotta do a final check, do a mini detail on it, make sure the windows are clean, the rest of the car is clean. That's going out of here. Mercedes, that's waiting for a ceramic coating. We'll probably do that first thing here in the morning, uh, get that one coated. Ford Explorer, this was uh, a couple days ago, waiting to go home. That was coated in BC08. Let's get to it, let's do it, let's go, come on. Well, what's the game plan? We don't know, Oscar's not here. <laughs> we lost. Uh, I'm gonna call him right now, see what we're gonna do. All right, so, I'm just gonna finish this. I got PPF, I'm gonna finish uh, compounding and polishing it. And then I'm gonna finish the mini on this and probably start on those two after. Getting started with the Volkswagen Golf R, which now has paint protection film on the entire front end of the vehicle. The guys just have to polish the paint and prep it for the ceramic coating. So this one here, we just gotta do like a, like a mini on it. Okay. Get ready. So he's gonna pick it up later. Cool. Um, ST should be going today. The Camry should be going today. Uh, the Mustang, we gotta get that prepped and over for PPF. Uh, C300 is picking up this Saturday, GTI is picking up tomorrow, and then uh, that Mercedes should be picking up today. We still gotta coat that one. I'm gonna have him coat that Mercedes in, and I'll have two guys on the Golf R. The truck, this one here, um, we got a little stuff on the bumper. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ouch! Luckily it's PPF, so okay. hopefully that shouldn't be there once we take the PPF off of it. Chris! Chris! I'm gonna wait on this one. Wait on this? Yeah, because that golf hour has to go out tomorrow. And this, one's, on this one's not going to Saturday. So that one has to go tomorrow, and then that Mercedes in there is going today, so I need that one coated. This one's good to go. So if you would, yes, yeah, will you hop on that with him? Yeah. We'll get that one done today. And then if we got time, we'll come back to this one. Ooh, much better. Beautiful. Just finishing up on this one. After um, we get done with this one, will you coat the Mercedes in there? The one that's inside? Yeah, that one's all the way inside. Black <laughs> up! I'm smooth. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the plan is we gotta work on that GT350. I think it's a 350, I'm pretty sure it is. So we're gonna do full front clip, hood, fenders, front bumper, mirrors, headlights, but we're also gonna do the A-pillar kit, the small piece above the, the roof, and then the rocker kit. Today, hopefully. Gotta make uh, some templates for this. So what's the template for? Uh, so this is for when we put the PPF on, we like to go under it 
and not cut around it. So pull this off, get the PPF under, then the template will know exactly where to put it in place by lining up with body lines and areas around it. As the guys get the Mustang ready for film, we have a couple cars that are about to leave the shop and go to their new homes. It looks fantastic. I guess I didn't even realize how, how that gloss black was on there because it, even from straight from the dealer, it seemed like it was not that shiny. It looks great, the windows look great. I noticed the chrome tips on the exhaust look, look great. The front grille looks great. Looks like a 10 to me. So a couple months ago, we did paint protection film on the rear bumper of this white F-350. Um, not sure what happened, but maybe he accidentally backed up into something while he was working or at work. Um, and then it kind of messed up the film a little bit. It, it like, he must have just brushed up on something easily. So it brushed up against it, kind of scratched the film up, it made it really dirty and, and ugly. So luckily it didn't penetrate the film, so the paint is still perfect. So all we're gonna do today is take off the old piece, put on a new piece, and then he'll be back on the road. The film got messed up, but the paint is still perfect. Why would you not do this on all your cars? You know? That's why you get PPF. Just checked over the GT3. Mini is done. Time for some afties. So Juan hopped over for the Mustang just to get a prep for the PPF guys. Get that started. Que le grabes cómo se ve el tapinche, se ve bien perro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something's got to give now, a change has got to come. Mm, I'm waiting for. Hey, can you go prep that Mustang? So Colin's over there prepping the Mustang so we can get started on it together. In the meantime, I'm gonna have Andy work on the F-350. Oh, all these little specks you gotta use a lot you gotta really look like really really look you don't this boy blind you see him 
He just like, yeah, I can see it. He can't see it though. It's the paint. There's like little, little pitting in the paint. Mm-hmm. It's all messed up. Brand new car. What are we doing? Why are we just doing a little piece? A test spot. A test spot. All those little nibs in the paint. Oh yeah. Those are all over the hood. Yeah, the whole thing is like this. Yeah. There's a bunch. There's a bunch too? Yeah. We hit the wet sand the whole car. So the hood has a lot of imperfections, and then every imperfection that is on the hood, the PPF is just gonna enhance it and make it even more dramatic and crazy. So there's all these little dots and pittings and these little high marks from factory paint. Um, the only way to fix it is if you literally wet sand the whole hood. But yeah, that, that sucks, because it's ready to go right now and it's not ready. So, I just gotta stand around and do nothing. It's annoying. But yeah. Uh, let's try, I, I just got some new Meguiar's. I see it all over the place here. Yeah. So I got some new Meguiar's, it's 3000 grit. It's for a DA, it's got a interface. Uh-huh. Let me try a section on that first. Let all me right. try a small section with that 3000. Let's see if that helps. Okay. Because that'll be quick. Yeah. So let me get that set up. Okay. I'm just standing around now. I got nothing to do. Because you're basically done with the truck. Yeah, he's done with that truck. Okay, then we're just gonna keep working. We're gonna do the roof. At least. So unfortunately, I discovered that I had left the wet sanding materials, discs, and interface at my house as I was doing some testing on them. So I'm gonna run back home real quick, get what I need to get the Mustang back on track. In the meantime, check out this sweet Toyota Camry TRD that we're putting the ceramic coating on. I did that. It's all me. It's all me. <laughs> hey, E, are you guys done with the truck? Yeah. Done, done? Yeah. Okay, cool. They said to do uh, Ultra on it. So we finished up the roof on the Mustang and it turns out Jason actually left the DA polisher at his house. So he's gonna go run and grab that and then he'll be back and hopefully that'll be able to take all the blemishes out the paint. As I prep for surgery on the Mustang, the crew has already started on coating the Golf R. They're starting with the wheels. They're gonna take them off, remove them, clean them, and then they're gonna spray BCL6 ceramic coating onto the wheels, the calipers, and the suspension. By spraying the coating, it gets into all these hard to reach areas and is way better than doing it by hand. Uh, 
Um, I got the sandpaper, so let me know when I can have the Mustang. Uh, I'll need it for two hours. Two hours? Five minutes. So, I mean, no rush, we can do it. I mean, you're probably not gonna be able to work on it the rest of the day, but. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make it look better. I'm gonna just do these bigger sections and just do a light sand on it and see if we can get all that pitting and all the, the roughness to it just flat so that paint protection film sits down and it looks better. As you can see it even just standing here, you can see just there's little pinholes all over it. I'm gonna try just a small section first to see if it, see if we get the result that we want. So this is a 3000 grit uh, sanding disc. It goes on a DA machine. This is a six inch. I have a six inch interface pad. This is a soft foam pad. So it gives it that cushion that we need. Uh, for doing this type of work. Look at that section. So I did this kind of this right here. I got a little more compounding to do. But that already looks it already looks so much better. Yeah. It's gonna take a minute. Yeah it is. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a hot minute. But that's what we do here. At Ch better. Chicago Auto Pros. You did the middle? I did not do the middle, I'm just comparing it. Oh, oh it's so hard to see over here. I know, but you can, but look right here, you can see right in the middle, you can see all the. Yeah, see ding, all ding, 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 ding. The ultra on the ultra on the headlights, C4 on all the plastic trim, and G1 on those side windows, glass transparency on the front windshield, BCO6 on the wheels. Okay. Thank you. He's gonna be picking up here shortly. Crunch time? Huh? Crunch time because this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I'll go today. Everything leaves today.
Uh oh, he brought his own flashlight. <laughs> I'm Craig. Craig, Jason, nice to meet you, man. Likewise. Beautiful car. Hi, I'm Craig. This is my 2019 Volkswagen Golf R, and I brought it to Chicago Auto Pros for paint protection film and ceramic coating. I brought it here because my last car, a 2016 Golf R, <laughs> I didn't have any PPF or ceramic coating on it, and after a few years of ownership, I noticed quite a few rock chips and few paint blemishes and scratching on it. Specifically on the hood, the front bumper, and those nails that clip the inside of the door cups. After a while, I had decided to upgrade to the 2019 Golf R, and my first item on my list was to go right to PPF and ceramic coating. There's a lot of options in the Chicagoland area, but after review, I decided to go with Chicago Auto Pros, given the great videos that you guys produce and all of the reviews that are available online. After talking to the folks here at Chicago Auto Pros about the different products that were available, given the fact that I'm pretty new to the whole PPF and ceramic coating thing, I just didn't want to see my car get dinged again on the road, rock chips over a few years. Um, after talking to these folks here, we decided on a great suite of products to add to it. The full front clip paint protection film, the ceramic coating all around the body, the wheels, the brake calipers, and then the tints on the car as well. So without a doubt, really glad that I chose Chicago Auto Pros and excited to see my 2019 Golf R on the road. It's gonna be a lot different than my last one, which was stage two and lowered. Here in Chicago, it makes things difficult with all the potholes and weather we have. And, but I'm gonna keep this as stock as possible, but maybe ask me in two months and it might be stage one, who knows. So we're just going for improvement here. We're not going to make it absolutely perfect. It's gonna get those bigger, all those bigger dots off. I'm gonna just do the top of the hood. I'm gonna do some hand sanding on the bumper. I'm gonna do the top of the fenders here. And it'll, it'll look a lot better. Bunch of cars out today, customers are all happy. We'll see you tomorrow. The Mustang front end is now sanded, polished, and ready for paint protection film. We also have a Jeep Grand Cherokee that's here in the shop for a full interior and exterior coating package. So we're gonna start with the interior leather seats. We're gonna be using the Modesta leather protection system. It's actually a two-part system. The first layer is put down on the entire seat for protection. And the second step is a separate product that we're gonna put on the bolsters and the sides of the seats for abrasion resistance. As Emiliano and Juan polish the Jeep out and get it ready for the coating, I just wanted to take a moment to thank everybody who has helped getting Chicago Auto Pros to where we're at today. When I started detailing cars almost 17 years ago, I, I could have never imagined that we'd be where we're at today, where we have two shops, close to 40 employees, and, and venturing into a new business, selling detailing supplies and tools. This was a super busy week for the shop, and I'm so proud of our team for not only working their asses off, but doing it and keeping it to the Chicago Auto Pro standards that we've set. Thank you to all of our team members. Thank you to my business partner, Greg. Greg is the backbone to this business. Without him, we probably would have fallen apart years ago. Thank you to my wife who has supported me from the start and has never stopped believing in me. Thank you to Jose who does all the editing to these awesome videos. Thank you to all of our customers who trust us and continue to bring us their vehicles here. We put a lot of passion into every vehicle that 
that we touch. And thank you to all the fans and our supporters of our business, the YouTube channel. We continue with these videos because of your comments and your kind words. I feel so happy, so lucky, and so blessed to be where we're at today. And I'm really sorry because I forgot to get after shots of this Mustang that you're looking at right now. But thank you guys. Thank you to everyone from the bottom of my heart. Cheers. We'll see you next time.